Hello there everyone, so again this is Larry M. Del Rosario and for today's video, we will be discussing the remainder and the factor theorems, okay? Pero bago ang lahat, please don't forget to subscribe on my channel for more video updates. Okay, so let's get started. Before we proceed, let us first define the remainder theorem. Okay, ang remainder theorem daw, if a polynomial f of x is divided by x minus a, the remainder is the constant f of a. And it could be in a form of f of x equals q of x times x minus a plus f of a. Or simply, f of x yung ating dividend, q of x yung ating quotient, x minus a is our divisor. Okay? Kung mapapansin ninyo, ginamit natin yung f of x dito, inilagay lang natin si a. Yung x ni f of x ni f of a, pinalitan lang natin ng a kung ano yung constant ni divisor. Okay. Where q of x is a polynomial with degree 1 less than the degree of f of x. So, na-discuss naman na natin doon sa previous topic ng synthetic division. Iyon, yung degree ng ating polynomial, ng quotient natin, ay minus 1 nung ating dividend. Okay. So, dividend equals quotient times the divisor plus the remainder. So, this is this is our quotient plus the divisor, which is x minus a, plus the remainder, which is f of a. In order for you to easily understand, meron tayo ditong series of example ng remainder theorem. Okay. Always remember na marami tayong ways para ma-determine yung remainder ng, ng pag-divide ng polynomial. Okay. First one, we have the long division. We also have this what we call uh, synthetic division. Meron din tayong tinatawag na remainder theorem and factor theorem. Okay. So for this discussion, uh, Magkakaroon tayo ng recap about synthetic para ma-relate natin siya, ma-connect natin, ma-pag-compare natin doon sa ating remainder theorem. Okay? Find f of 3 for the following polynomial function. Nahanapin natin f of 3. Okay? Kapag remainder theorem yung gamit natin, ang mahahanap lang natin, yung final answer natin is automatic the remainder of the two polynomial kapag ginivide natin sila. <coughs> If we are looking for the quotient, hindi natin pwedeng gamitin si remainder theorem. Again, si remainder theorem, magagamit lang natin siya kung gusto natin hanapin yung remainder ng dalawang na, ng pinagdi-divide nating dalawang polynomial. Kapag tinahanap natin yung quotient, we can use long division or synthetic division. Okay. Since we have f of 3, this is our quotient ay dividend. That means we can only Substitute 3 for x. Papalitan lang natin yung f of x ng f of 3. At lahat ng x sa may right side ay mapapalitan din ng 3. Okay, ayan. Instead of f of x, naging f of 3. 5x squared, 5, 3 raised to 2, minus 4 times 3 plus 3. So, since napalitan na natin ng 3 lahat ng x, i-evaluate na natin yung operation. Okay, 5. 3 times 3 is 9, minus 12. Because 4 times 3 is 12 plus 3. For, simplify furthermore. So 5 times 9 is 45 minus 12 plus 3. 45 minus 12 is 33 plus 3 is equal to 36. Okay, That means the remainder when we divide 5x squared minus 4x plus 3 by x minus 3 is 36. Okay. Now, let us use the synthetic division para malaman natin kung tama yung ating sagot. Okay. We are going to divide the same polynomial. Gagamitin natin yung 5x squared minus 4x plus 3 divided by x minus 3. So, using synthetic division, we are going to write the coefficient of the dividend. So, merong 5, negative 4, 3. Wala naman tayong missing term. And we are going to write the coefficient of our divisor which is 3. First, we bring down 5, followed by 5 times 3 is 15, negative 4 plus 15 is 11, and 11 times 3 is 33, and yung last na sagot natin is 3 plus 33, which is 36, and 36 is the remainder. So that means tama yung naging sagot natin dun sa remainder theorem. Okay. 
Ayan, ito yung comparison niya para mas, mas makita nyong maigi na they are just the same whether you use synthetic or you use the remainder theorem. Oh, notice that the value obtained when evaluating the function at f of 3 and the value of the remainder when dividing the polynomial by x minus c are the same. Magkamukha lang sila. Okay. Okay, so hindi ko na i-discuss further ito, yung ating quotient times the divisor plus the remainder since ang main goal natin dito is to find the remainder of a certain uh, polynomial divided by a certain polynomial. Okay. Next, use synthetic substitution to find g of 4 for the following function. Okay. So this time, gagamit tayo ng synthetic division para malaman natin yung uh, remainder ng ating polynomials kapag pinag-divide natin sila. Okay, so already arranged naman na. So we have 5, negative 13, negative 40, negative 47, and 1. And our function g of 4 is 4. Okay, bring down 5 times 4 is 20. 30, negative 13 plus 20 is 7. 7 times 4 is 28. Negative 14 plus 28 is 14. 14 times 4 is 56. Negative 47 times plus 56 is 9. And 9 times 4 is 36. And 1 plus 36 is 37. That means our remainder is 37. You can simply use synthetic para hindi kayo mahirapan. Okay. When, you, when we talk about synthetic substitution, using synthetic division to evaluate a function. Okay? Function pa din naman yung ginamit natin. Okay, parang remainder theorem. Kaya lang, ang ginagamit natin ay yung synthetic division. That is what we call synthetic substitution. We are also substituting values. This is special helpful, especially helpful for polynomials with degree greater than 2. <clears throat> and so, yan lang din yung kanina. So, we have negative 2. So, negative 2. 5, negative 13, negative 40, negative 47, and 1. Bring down 5 times negative 2, negative 10. Negative 13, negative plus negative 10 is negative 23. Negative 23 times negative 2 is 46. Negative 14 plus 46 is 32. 32 times negative 2 is negative 64. Negative 47 plus negative 64 is negative 111. And negative 111 times negative 2 is positive 222 plus 1 is 223. That means the remainder is 223. To express the quotient, uh, to express it in terms of function and... So, the dividend is equal to the quotient. Sabi nga natin, minus 1 lagi yung degree. So, we have 5x cubed. Sorry. 5x cubed minus... 5x cubed minus 23x... Eh, sorry. 5x cubed minus 23x squared plus 32x minus 111 times the divisor, which is x minus 2 ay x plus 2 plus the quotient which is 223. Okay, so our importante lang naman dito is malaman ninyo yung remainder kasi that is our topic. So let's use the synthetic substitution to find c of 4 for the following function. That means, pwede tayong mag-substitute, pwede natin gamitin yung synthetic substitution. So in this case, gagamitin natin yung synthetic substitution kasi mas madali siyang way para malaman yung remainder. So, you bring down 2 times 4 is 8, negative 4 plus 8 is 4, times 4 is 16, plus negative 7 is 9, times 4 is 36, plus negative 13 is 23, times 4 is 92, plus negative 10 is 82. So, 8 to 2 is our remainder. Next is the factor theorem. So, the binomial x minus a is a factor of the polynomial f of x if, if and only if f of a equals to 0. Uh, Yung process na gagamitin natin, the same lang din yung remainder theorem kasama yung synthetic substitution. Kaya lang, para malaman lang natin na factor siya, dapat ang end answer natin ay zero or simply dapat wala siyang remainder. So, ganun naman talaga yung process natin, di ba? Para malaman natin factor, yung isang polynomial dun sa isang polynomial, dapat pag pinag-divide natin sila, wala siyang remainder. And getting a zero means walang remainder. Okay. 
When a polynomial is divided by one of its binomial factors, the quotient is called a depressed polynomial. Para siyang, depressed polynomial yung tawag kasi pinaliit. Okay? Pag dinivide na natin siya dun sa isa niyang factor, yung magiging end, uh, answer niya, yung quotient niya, yun yung uh, pinaliit. Pinaliit na polynomial na niya. Okay? Hindi pa siya, hindi, hindi pa tapos yung pagkaka-factor nun. Okay? That means we have to factor it uh, completely. Okay? If the remainder, last number in a depressed polynomial is zero, that means if f of f of something is equal to 0. This also means that the, that the divisor resulting in a remainder of 0 is a factor of the polynomial. Okay, let's say for example, we have x cubed plus 4x squared minus 15x minus 18. I-divide natin siya kay x minus 3. So we have 3 there. 1, we have 4, negative 15, negative 18. Using synthetic substitution, bring down 1 times 3 is 3, plus 4 7, times 3 is 21, plus negative 15 is 6, times 3 is 18, minus 18 is 0. That means, uh, yung x minus 3 niya is factor. Okay. Since the remainder is 0. Okay. So, yung, co yung quotient natin ay magiging x squared plus 7x plus 6. Okay. This also allows us to find the remaining factors of the polynomial factor ng depressed polynomial. So, makukuha na natin yung depressed polynomial. Yun na nga yung minus 1 degree. Okay. Since we are going to factor it completely, uh, madali na natin mafactor yung depressed polynomial niya, which is x squared plus 7x plus 6. Ayan. So, by factoring, malaman natin na ang factor ng x squared plus 7x plus 6 is x plus 6 times x plus 1. Why? Automatic, we have x squared. So, yung factor, yung unang term nung, dal nung dalawang factors natin ay x times x, while Because x times x is simply x squared. Next, you are going to think ng factor ng 6. And it could be 2, 3... 1, 6, etc. Uh, by the way, I will have another discussion about factoring. Okay? Then, ilalagay nyo doon. Then, magka-trial and error kayo. I-multiply nyo yung dalawang nasa gitna. I-multiply nyo yung dalawang nasa labas. Yung magiging sagot, i-add nyo. And then, dapat, ang lilitaw na sagot ay 7x. So, 6 times x, 6x. 1 times x is x. 6x times plus x is 7 x. That means, ito yung factor niya. So, yung complete factor niya ay x minus 3, x plus 6, x plus 1. Okay, so, will you please try solving it? Given a polynomial and one of its factors, find the remaining factors of the polynomial. Some factors may not be binomials. Hindi siya binom Sometimes, hindi siya binomial kasi uh, may mga factor na hindi na yung depressed polynomial niya ay hindi na factorable pa. That means prime na siya. Okay? Feel free to pause the video for a while and answer it. Then, continue the video. Tingnan ninyo kung tama yung nakuha ninyong sagot. Okay, so the answer for number 1 is x minus 8 times x minus 5 times x plus 2. So, yun yung factors niya. Okay, next, answer number 2 is x plus 6 times 2x plus 1 times x minus 3. Automatic naman kasi ang unang factor nila ay x minus 8 at x plus 6. Kasi, given na nga sa tanong, ay given na nga dun sa, sa direction, given a polynomial and one of its factors. Okay, so that's all for today. I hope you learned something. If you have questions, feel free to comment your questions on the comment, bo on the comment box, box. And don't forget to subscribe and like my video for more updates. Thank you and God bless.